Joining us now from Lviv is Sudarshan Raghavan, the correspondent at large for The Washington Post. In his latest reporting, he talked to Ukrainian soldiers in a town near Kyiv as they tried to push the Russians out. Sudarshan, good to see you. Thank you for making time to be here tonight. I want to talk first about what I said at the top of the show, the reports of two Ukrainian military helicopters striking a Russian oil depot. Doesn't sound like that big of a deal, given how many missile strikes and attacks there have been in Ukraine, but it, it really is. Uh, it's a huge deal. I mean, no one expected this to happen at all. I mean, throughout this, throughout the past six weeks, the, the Ukrainians have basically done a lot of mostly defensive action, and it's only been in the past uh, week or so they started mounting counteroffensives on specific targets. So, you know, in and around Kyiv and others, but very small kind of localized uh, counteroffensives. So the fact that they went across the border, took two helicopters and knocked out this, uh, this oil depot is extremely significant uh, for several reasons. Chief among them is, for, is that, uh, first of all, it shows that the Ukrainians have the capability to go across and do something like this and take the battle to, to, into Russian soil. But at the same time, it also... Uh, challenges Russia's, uh, seriously challenges Russia's narrative of the war. The Russian propaganda machine has, you know, has told Russian people and the world that basically that they are in control. They had destroyed the Ukrainian air forces, their air bases. They had, you know, and so these, this attack literally shows that the, uh, that the Russians were wrong and, uh, and, and, and they don't have uh, the war under control, and the Ukrainians still have the capability of the air capability of of doing such a uh, a, a massive hit. Uh, Sudarshan, you reported this week from a town near Kyiv where Ukrainian forces were engaged in pushing the Russians back. And I want to just play a little bit of the video that accompanied your story. This is of a Ukrainian soldier who comes across a backpack abandoned by a Russian soldier. Ooh, he forgot his ammo when he was running. And the, the, the scissors. Well, that's not very useful. Look, he was a machine gunner. Yes, he was a machine gunner. You see, I'm just looking for something useful. Because that's how war works. That's useful. Give us a sense, uh, Sudarsan, of, of what that was about and how these Ukrainian troops that you encountered are feeling about, uh, about this war. Right. Well, as you can see from this video, uh, that was Sergeant Anton Kolombet, and you could see the, the confidence he was feeling. He was extremely calm. He picked up this backpack and looking for things of use, and, and, and you, can, you, know, you can really see it. Now, that, that event... I was on a Tuesday, and even when we were in that town of Moshun, there was shelling going on incessantly. Uh, and so the Russians were only uh, about uh, two miles away, and they were they were shelling us, and the Ukrainians were returning the fire. And the very next day, too, uh, a, uh, one of our photographers went there, and the shelling also continued on that Wednesday. So between Thursday. And Friday, the Russians just departed the airport. That that town, by the way, is only five miles away from the airport you talked about at the beginning of the of the program, the Hostomel Airport, which the uh, the Russians want to use to to try and capture the capital, Kiev. So, you know, in this town, the the soldiers were extremely confident. They had, uh, you know, just a week earlier, they had managed to push the Russians out of this village, and uh, they were using all sorts of ambushes, guerrilla tactics, street, street fighting. They even destroyed a dam, they told me, uh, nearby, which allowed the, the river that was, that's flowing by this village to flood up. That prevented Russian uh, forces from bringing in reinforcements and resupplying their, their, their soldiers inside the village. And they had to literally push back and literally had to, to cross that flooded river now to get away from the, from the Ukrainian forces. Uh, so... Yeah, it was an it was a significant victory for the Ukrainians, but I think at that moment, no one, not a single soldier, uh, at, earlier in the week, had expected that the Russians would just simply pick up and leave the airport as well as and, and leave the entire you know areas around the capital.